The line L has equation y plus 7x equals 15, and the Kirsty has equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. Before I do anything, I just like to rewrite this one in terms of y equals mx plus c, because it just looks better. So let's just make y the subject. So here you get y equals minus 7x plus 15. So I know this is actually a downward line, because it has a downward slope, yeah? Because you've got a negative gradient. And this one is a quadratic, so it's a U shape. Use algebra to find the coordinates of the points where L intersects C. Cool, so you're going to have a line and it intersects the curve at two points. So let's say probably here and here. Now, to do it, all you literally do is just substitute your equation, your y, your line equation, into your quadratic. Because we made it both equal to y, we can equate them. So therefore, we're going to have minus 7x plus 15 equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. I'm going to go ahead and make um, everything equal to 0, yeah? so it's going to look like a quadratic set to 0. So adding 7x and minus 15, we're going to have 0 equals x squared plus 1x, so minus 6 plus 7x is just x, and 9 take away 15 should give us minus 6. Okay, so I think this is actually factorizable. Let's have a look. So you need two numbers to multiply to make 6, that's 3 and 2, and they have a difference of 1, yes. So factorizing this quadratic, you should get, I believe, x plus 3 and x minus 2 equal to 0. And we know this is true because um, you need to make a positive 1x. So that would be like plus 3x minus 2x gives you a 1x. And 3 times minus 2 gives you minus 6. And therefore, all right here, the solutions are always the inverse of these brackets. So if it's x plus 3, the solution x would be minus 3. And the other one, x minus 2 bracket will become a solution of positive 2. So yeah, that's that's solid. But they're saying they want to find the coordinates. So now all we got to do is plug these values back into either the quadratic or the line. Well, I'm going to use the line because it's way easier. So replacing your x values into each of these, to, into the y equation. So for example, this y, the first one would be um, y equals minus 7, open bracket, minus 3, plus 15. Put it into the bracket you should get an answer of uh, 36. So the first coordinate would be minus 3 and 36. If you plug in 2, you should get 1. So the second coordinate would be 1, L2, 1. And that's it, guys. That's literally um, part A done. Now, as for part B, looks like it's a bit different. Use algebraic integration, so we're talking about doing proper integration now, like opposite differentiation, to find the exact area of the finite region bounded by L and C. So it's actually quite easy. All you do is set up your integral. So you say area equals integral, and our limits are basically the, between our x coordinates. So between minus, so between minus three and positive two. So what we do here, we have the line equation, which is equal to y. So it will be fifty. It will be minus seven x plus fifteen, and then we subtract it against the <coughs> the other one, the other y equation, which is a quadratic. So x squared minus six x plus nine, six x plus nine, and then dx of course, with respect to x. And then tidying this up, go to integral of minus three to two. You should get by tidying up. Minus x six, so actually, literally the opposite of what we did up there, and that's going to be dx. In fact, you know what? I guess I could have just used this equation up here. Huh. Now, integrating this carefully to integrate is not too bad. All you do is raise the power up, so minus x squared becomes minus x cubed over the power itself, which is three. X becomes x squared over two. And if you just get a constant, you just write stick an x in, so plus six x. And then you close it and you put your limits of integration here. These are the values you're going to replace x values with. So now all you do is replace all of this with 2. And then you subtract it with all of it with minus 3. So doing it, put one bracket, replace the 2. So you get minus 2 cubed plus 6 times 2. Minus, and then replace the x's with 3. So minus bracket minus 3 cubed. And then, and you put this all in your calculator. You should get a result of... 125 over 6 which is also the same as 20 holes and 5 sixes that's it guys this is it